So I've taken it to all the scales in between, you know, now, you know, and, you know, uh, filled up the gaps. Um, so from the plonk to the atom to the, yeah. To so the I'm, and, and, and including sub plonks, um, yeah. you know, and yeah. so it's very exciting. Uh, That's we're fantastic. discovering worlds within worlds, you know, and, uh, and, uh, it, it's very precise and it's uh, yeah, it's extremely accurate uh, yeah. and th there's very large advantages um, for instance the advantage that for scale relations um, the relationship of the Planck oscillators um, dynamic uh, can define unknown values um, without requiring any of the variables. Mm -hmm. um, that is, we can take any two scales that have been defined and output, you know, the correct mass and radius of a scale that you know, was not necessarily defined in the equation, you know, in any terms, mm. meaning, you know, typically if you want to try to find the radius, the mass of a proton, you use the radius and get the mass. And if you get, you know, the mass, you, if you got the mass, you use the mass and get the radius. You have one of the variable mm -hmm. that allows you the relationships of the fundamental constants and so on allows you to get or the mechanics that you're describing hopefully gets you the right answer for the other the one that's unknown the x right well in this case it can be all x you know nothing about the thing and from any two scales you can output what the thing is very precisely in terms of its radius, in terms of its energy level, its mass. And so it's kind of a new way of doing physics.